Mulatto is a term used to refer to people born of one white parent and one black parent, or from two mulatto parents. In English usage, the term is today generally confined to historical contexts. Modern English speakers of mixed white and black ancestry seldom choose to identify themselves as mulatto. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> the English term mulatto is derived from the Spanish and Portuguese mulatto. The origin of mulatto is uncertain. The term may derive from mula Old Galician Portuguese, from the Latin mulus, meaning mule, the hybrid offspring of a horse and a donkey. The Real Academia Española traces its origin to mulo in the sense of hybridity, originally used to refer to any mixed-race person. Some dictionaries and scholarly works trace the word's origins to the Arabic term mulad, which means, a person of mixed ancestry. Mulad literally means, born, begotten, produced, generated, brought up with the implication of being born and raised among Arabs, but not of Arab blood. Mu'lad is derived from the root word wulad Arabic, well direct Arabic transliteration, w-a-w, lam, dal, and colloquial Arabic pronunciation can vary greatly. Wulad means, descendant, offspring, scion, child, son, boy, young animal, young one. In Al-Andalus, Mulad referred to the offspring of non-Arab, Muslim people who adopted the Islamic religion and manners. Specifically, the term was historically applied to the descendants of indigenous Christian Iberians who, after several generations of living among a Muslim majority, adopted their culture and religion. Notable examples of this category include the famous Muslim scholar Ibn Hazm. According to Lisan al-Arab, one of the earliest Arab dictionaries c. 13th century AD, applied the term to the children of non-Muslim slaves, or non-Muslim children who were captured in a war and were raised by Muslims to follow their religion and culture. Thus, in this context, the term, Mawalad, has a meaning close to, the adopted. According to the same source, the term does not denote being of mixed race but rather being of foreign blood and local culture. In English, printed usage of mulatto dates to at least the 16th century. The 1595 work Drake's Voyages first used the term in the context of intimate unions producing biracial children, with the Oxford English Dictionary defining mulatto here as, "...one who is the offspring of a European and a black." This earliest usage regarded, "...black," and "...white," as discrete, "...species," with the "...mulatto," constituting a third separate species. According to Julio Izquierdo Labrado, the 19th-century linguist Leopoldo Eguilas y Yanguas, as well as some Arabic sources Mu'alad as the etymological origin of mulatto. These sources specify that mulatto would have been derived directly from Mu'alad independently of the related word Maladi, a term that was applied to Iberian Christians who had converted to Islam during the Moorish governance of Iberia in the Middle Ages. The Real Academia Española Spanish Royal Academy casts doubt on the Mulad theory. It states, "...the term mulata is documented in our diachronic data bank in 1472 and is used in reference to livestock mules in Documentación Medieval de la Corte de Justicia de Ganaderos de Zaragoza, whereas Malati from Mulawadi does not appear until the 18th century, according to Joan Coromina's. Scholars such as Werner Sollers cast doubt on the mule etymology for mulatto. In the 18th and 19th centuries, racialists such as Edward Long and Josiah Knott began to assert that mulattoes were sterile like mules. They projected this belief back onto the etymology of the word mulatto. Sollers points out that this etymology is anachronistic. The mulatto sterility hypothesis that has much to do with the rejection of the term by some writers is only half as old as the word mulatto. Topic. Africa Of São Tomé and Príncipe's 193,413 inhabitants, the largest segment is classified as Mestico, or mixed race. 71% of the population of Cape Verde is also classified as such. The great majority of their current populations descend from unions between the Portuguese, who settled the islands from the 15th century onwards, and the black Africans they brought from the African mainland to work as slaves. 
In the early years, mesticos began to form a third class between the Portuguese colonists and African slaves, as they were usually bilingual and often served as interpreters between the populations. In Angola and Mozambique, the mestico constitutes smaller but still important minorities, 2% in Angola and 0.2% in Mozambique. Mulatto and mestico are not terms commonly used in southern Africa to refer to people of mixed ancestry. The persistence of some authors to use this term out of historic context reflects the old school essentialist views of race as a de facto biological phenomenon and the mixing of race as legitimate grounds for the creation of a new race. This is in disregard of cultural, linguistic and ethnic diversity and or differences between regions and globally in populations of mixed ancestry. In Namibia, a current day population of between 20,000 and 30,000 people, known as Rehoboth Basters, descend from liaisons between the Cape Colony Dutch and indigenous African women. The name Baster is derived from the Dutch word for bastard or crossbreed. While some people consider this term demeaning, the Basters proudly use the term as an indication of their history. In South Africa, colored is a term used to refer to individuals with some degree of sub-Saharan ancestry but subjectively not enough to be considered black African under the apartheid-era law of South Africa. Today people self-identify as colored. Other Afrikaans terms used include Bruinmens translates to brown people, Chlorling translates to colored, or Bruin Afrikaners translates to brown Africans and is used to distinguish them from the main body of Afrikaners translates to African, who are white. Under apartheid law there were seven categories of colored people, Cape colored, Cape Malay, Griqua and other colored. The aim of subdivisions was to enhance the meaning of the larger category of colored by making it all-encompassing. Legally and politically speaking, all people of color were classified black in the non-racial terms of anti-apartheid rhetoric of the black consciousness movement. In addition to European ancestry, colored people usually also possess Asian ancestry from immigrants from India, Indonesia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, China and or St. Helena. Based on the Population Registration Act to classify people, laws were put in place prohibiting mixed marriages. Therefore, many people that were descendants of the Asian category were able to legally intermarry with mixed race people because they shared the same nomenclature. There was extensive combining of these diverse heritages in the Western Cape, but in other parts of Southern Africa, the colored usually were descendants of two primary ethnic groups, primarily Africans of various tribes and European colonists of various tribes, with generations of colored forming families. The use of the term colored has changed over the course of history. For instance, in the first census after the South African War 1912, Indians were counted as colored whereas before and after, they were counted as Asiatic. In KwaZulu-Natal, most colorids that were classified as other colorids had British and Zulu heritage, while Zimbabwean colorids were descended from Shona or Dabeli mixing with British and Afrikaner settlers. Griqua, on the other hand, are descendants of Khoisan and Afrikaner Trekboer as well as contributions from Central Southern African groups. The Griqua were subjected to an ambiguity of other Creole people within Southern African social order. According to Nurse and Jenkins 1975, the leader of this mixed group, Adam Koch I, was a former slave of the Dutch governor who was manumitted and provided land outside Cape Town in the 18th century. With territories beyond the Dutch East India Company administration, Koch delivered refuge to deserting soldiers, runaway slaves, and remaining members of various Khoikhoi tribes. Afro-European clans Akas Americo-Liberians Fernandinos Sherbro Hubris Sherbro Tuckers Sherbro Calkers Sherbro Rogers Sherbro Clevelands Sierra Leone Creole people Latin America and the Caribbean 
Mulattoes represent a significant part of the population of various Latin American and Caribbean countries, Dominican Republic 73%, all mixed race people, Brazil 49.1% mixed race, Gypsy and Black, Mulattoes 20.5%, Mesticos, Mamelucos or Cabocos 21.3%, Blacks 7.1% and Eurasian 0.2%, Belize 25%, Colombia 10.4%, Cuba 24.86%, Haiti 15%. In colonial Latin America, mulatto could also refer to an individual of mixed African and Native American ancestry. In the 21st century, persons with indigenous and black African ancestry in Latin America are more frequently called Zambos in Spanish or Cafuzo in Portuguese. In the United States, due to the influence and laws making slavery a racial caste and later practices of hypodescent, white colonists and settlers tended to classify persons of mixed African and Native American ancestry as black, regardless of how they identified themselves, or sometimes as black Indians. But many tribes had matrilineal kinship systems and practices of absorbing other peoples into their cultures. Multiracial children born to Native American mothers were customarily raised in her specific tribal culture. Federally recognized Indian tribes have insisted that identity and membership is related to culture rather than race, and that individuals brought up within tribal culture are fully members, regardless of whether they have some European or African ancestry. Many tribes have had mixed race members who identify primarily as members of the tribes. If the children were born to slave women, they were classified under slave law as slaves, and more likely raised within the African American community and considered black. A number of African Americans in contemporary United States have ancestry including some Native American. Topic: <inaudible> Brazil. Studies carried out by the geneticist Sergio Peña conclude the average white Brazilian is 80% European, 10% Amerindian, and 10% African black. Another study, carried out by the Brazilian Journal of Medical and Biological Research, concludes the average white Brazilian is greater than 70% European. According to the IBGE 2000 census, 38.5% of Brazilians identified as pardo, i.e., of mixed ancestry. This figure includes mulatto and other multiracial people, such as people who have European and Amerindian ancestry, called cabocos, as well as assimilated, westernized Amerindians, and mestizos with some Asian ancestry. A majority of mixed-race Brazilians have all three ancestries, Amerindian, European, and African. According to the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics Census 2006, some 42.6% of Brazilian identify as pardo, an increase over the 2000 census. According to genetic studies, some of those who identify as white Brazilians, 48.4%, also have some mixed-race ancestry, both sub-Saharan African and Amerindian ancestry. Brazilians who identify as de Roca Negra or de Cor Preta, i.e. Brazilians of black African origin, make up 6.9% of the population. Genetic studies show their average total ancestry is still mixed, 40% African, 50% European, and 10% Amerindian, but they likely grew up within visibly black communities. Such autosomal DNA studies, which measure total genetic contribution, continue to reveal differences between how individuals identify, which is usually based in family and close community, with genetic ancestry, which may relate to a distant past they know little about. Such DNA studies were conducted of students at a school in the poor periphery of Rio de Janeiro. It found that the multiracial pardos were genetically more than 80% European in ancestry. The results of the tests of genomic ancestry are quite different from the self-made estimates of European ancestry," say the researchers. The test results showed that the proportion of European genetic ancestry was higher than students expected. When questioned before the test, students who identified as pardos, for example, identified as one-third European, one-third African and one-third Amerindian. On the other hand, students classified as white tended to overestimate their proportion of African and Amerindian genetic ancestry. Haiti Mulattoes account for up to 5% of the nation's population. In Haitian history, such mixed-race people, known in colonial times as free people of color, gained some education and property before the revolution. 
In some cases, their white fathers arranged for multiracial sons to be educated in France and join the military, giving them an advance economically. Free people of color gained some social capital and political power before the revolution, were influential during the revolution and since then. The people of color have retained their elite position, based on education and social capital, that is apparent in the political, economic and cultural hierarchy in present-day Haiti. Numerous leaders throughout Haiti's history have been people of color. The struggle within Haiti between the people of color led by André Rigaud and the black Haitians led by Toussaint Louverture devolved into the War of Knives. In the early period of independence, former slaves of majority black ancestry led the government, as it was the many more numerous slaves who had done most of the fighting in the north, where the largest plantations were, to achieve independence. Topic. Puerto Rico In a 2002 genetic study of maternal and paternal direct lines of ancestry of 800 Puerto Ricans, 61% had mitochondrial DNA mtDNA from an Amerindian female ancestor, 27% inherited mtDNA from a female African ancestor and 12% had mtDNA from a female European ancestor. Conversely, patrilineal direct lines, as indicated by the Y chromosome, showed that 70% of Puerto Rican males in the sample have Y chromosome DNA from a male European ancestor, 20% inherited Y DNA from a male African ancestor, and less than 10% inherited Y DNA from a male Amerindian ancestor. As these tests measure only the DNA along the direct matrilineal and patrilineal lines of inheritance, they cannot tell what total percentage of European or African ancestry any individual has. In keeping with Spanish practice, for most of its colonial period, Puerto Rico had laws such as the Regla del Sacar or Gracias al Sacar. A person with African ancestry could be considered legally white if he could prove that at least one person per generation in the last four generations had been legally white. People of black ancestry with known white lineage were classified as white, in contrast to the one-drop rule put into law in the early 20th century in the United States. In colonial and antebellum times in certain locations, persons of three-quarters or more white ancestry were considered legally white. If born to slave mothers, however, this status did not overrule their being considered slaves, like Sally Hemings, who was three-quarters white, and her children by Thomas Jefferson, who were seven-eighths white, and all born into slavery. <laughs> United States <laughs> <laughs> Antebellum era Historians have documented sexual abuse of slave women during the colonial and post-revolutionary slavery times by white men in power, planters, their sons before marriage, overseers, etc., producing multiracial children born into slavery. But, Paul Hainig has documented that most of the free people of color in the 1790–1810 censuses in the Upper South were descended from unions and marriages during the colonial period in Virginia between white women, who were free or indentured servants, and African or African-American men, servant, slave or free. In the early colonial years, working class people lived and worked closely together, and slavery was not as much of a racial caste. Slave law had established that children in the colony took the status of their mothers. This meant that multi-racial children born to white women were born free. The colony required them to serve lengthy indentures if the woman was not married, but nonetheless, numerous individuals with African ancestry were born free, and formed more free families. Many of these free people of color became leaders in the African American community, others continued to marry into the white community. His findings have been supported by DNA studies as well, according to historian F. James Davis. Rapes occurred, and many slave women were forced to submit regularly to white males or suffer harsh consequences. However, slave girls often courted a sexual relationship with the master, or another male in the family, as a way of gaining distinction among the slaves, avoiding field work, and obtaining special jobs and other favored treatment for their mixed children Reuter, 1970-129. Sexual contacts between the races also included prostitution, adventure, concubinage, and sometimes love. In rare instances, where free blacks were concerned, there was marriage Bennett, 1962 Some mixed-race persons in the South became slave owners, and many who were accepted in the society supported the Confederacy during the Civil War. 
For example, William Ellison owned 60 slaves. Andrew Durnford of New Orleans, which had a large population of free people of color, mostly of French descent and Catholic culture, was listed in the census as owning 77 slaves. In Louisiana free people of color constituted a third class between white colonists and the mass of slaves, other multiracial people became abolitionists and supported the Union. For example, Mary Ellen Pleasant and Thomie Laffin used their fortunes to support the abolitionist cause. Francis E. Dumas of New Orleans, a free person of color, emancipated all his slaves and organized them into a company in the 2nd Regiment of the Louisiana Native Guards. Historically in the American South, the term mulatto was also applied at times to persons with mixed Native American and African American ancestry. For example, a 1705 Virginia statute reads as follows and for clearing all manner of doubts which hereafter may happen to arise upon the construction of this act, or any other act, who shall be accounted a mulatto, be it enacted and declared, and it is hereby enacted and declared, that the child of an Indian and the child, grandchild, or great-grandchild, of a Negro shall be deemed, accounted, held and taken to be a mulatto. In early American history, the term mulatto was also used to refer to persons of Native American and European ancestry. Certain tribes of Indians of the Anokoplo family in Texas referred to themselves as mulatto. At one time, Florida's laws declared that a person from any number of mixed ancestries would be legally defined as a mulatto, including white, Hispanic, black, Indian, and just about any other mix as well. A daughter born to a South Asian father and Irish mother in Maryland in 1680 was classified as a mulatto and sold into slavery. Starting with Virginia in 1662, colonies adopted the principle of partus sequitur ventrum in slave law, which said that children in the colony were born into the status of their mother. Thus, children born to slave mothers were born into slavery, regardless of who their fathers were. Children born to white mothers were free, even if mixed race. Topic. Contemporary era Mulatto was used as an official census racial category in the United States until 1930. In the early 20th century, several Southern states had adopted the one drop rule as law, and Southern congressmen pressed the U.S. Census Bureau to drop the mulatto category. They wanted all persons to be classified as black or white. At that time, the term was primarily applied as a category to persons of mixed African and European descent. During the colonial and early federal period, in the southern colonies and states, it was sometimes applied to persons of any mixed ethnicity, including Native American and European. During the early census years of the United States beginning in 1790, mulatto was applied to persons who were identifiably of mixed African American and Native American ancestry. Mulatto was also used interchangeably with terms like Turk, leading to ambiguity when referring to North Africans and Middle Easterners, who were of limited number in the colonies. In the 2000 United States Census, 6,171 Americans self identified as having mulatto ancestry. Since then, multiracial people have been allowed to identify as having more than one type of ethnic ancestry. Topic colonial references Fernandino Quadroon and other terms denoting the degree of African descent Métis Mestizo Zambo Topic See also African diaspora in the Americas Afro-Argentines Afro-Colombians Afro-Latin Americans Cafres Casta Cholo Free People of Color Melungeon Multiracial Rhineland Bastard Tragic Mulatto Topic References Notes Citations Topic Further reading McNeil, Daniel 2010. Sex and Race in the Black Atlantic, Mulatto Devils and Multiracial Messiahs. Routledge. Tenzer, Lawrence Raymond 1997. The Forgotten Cause of the Civil War, A New Look at the Slavery Issue. Scholars Pub. House. Talty, Stefan Mulatto America, at the Crossroads of Black and White Culture, A Social History. HarperCollins Publishers Inc. Gatewood, Willard B. 1990. Aristocrats of Color, The Black Elite, 1880-1920. Indiana University Press. Egulas y Yanguas, Leopoldo Glosario de las Palabras Españolas Castellanas, Catalanas, Galegas, Mallorquinas, Portuguesas, Valencianas y Bascangadas, de origen oriental Arabe, Hebreo, Malayo, Persa y Turco in Spanish. Granada, La Lealtad. Freitag, Ulrich, Clarence Smith, William G., eds. 1997. 
Hadrami traders, scholars and statesmen in the Indian Ocean, 1750s to 1960s. Social, Economic and Political Studies of the Middle East and Asia. 57. Leiden, Brill. p. 392. ISBN 90-04-10771-1. Archived from the original on 28 June 2008. Retrieved 14 July 2008. Eng Sang Ho, an anthropologist, discusses the role of the Mu'alad in the region. The term Mu'alad, used primarily in reference to those of mixed blood, is analyzed through ethnographic and textual information. Freitag, Ulrich December 1999. Hadrami migration in the 19th and 20th centuries. The British Yemeni Society. Archived from the original on 12 July 2000. Retrieved 14 July 2008. Minty, Cynthia 1994. Interview, Hamid al Ghadri. Yemen Update. American Institute for Yemeni Studies. 34 44, 14 9. Archived from the original on 18 June 2008. Retrieved 14 July 2008. Williamson, Joel. 1980. New People Miscegenation and Mulattoes in the United States. The Free Press. Topic external links A brief history of census race surprises in the family tree The mulatto factor in black family genealogy Dr. David Pilgrim, The Tragic Mulatto Myth, Jim Crow Museum, Ferris State University at Race Relations, in-depth research links on mulattoes, about.com and Carta's breakdown of mulatto people archived 1 November 2009 Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Mulatto. Encyclopedia Britannica 11th ed. Cambridge University Press